What's up, YouTube? What you know? My name is Domino with the Zero, and welcome to a Pokemon Sun and Moon anime review of episode number 72. Now, if you're wondering where these episodes have been, as I said in the episode that should have gone up yesterday, uh, <laughs> with this new change in layout, this new desk that I have, I was unsure of how I wanted to edit the videos, so it took me a little while to decide on it. I think I have an idea for what we're going to do now, but I do need your feedback, so if you check out this video, let me know what you think about the way that we're editing the pictures right here, right here. Uh, let me know what you think, and we'll make some adjustments and see if we can make some improvements. Now, to recap the last episode, we saw a Dupider that set out on its own to find an area to live and encounter several battles along the way and also runs into Lana and the rest of our group and falls in love with Lana, gets extremely connected to her. It was a very creepy little little moment when the wedding march starts playing when this Dupider sees Lana. But after many battles and a battle with an evolving Surskip, Du finds his new home. Check out that review if you haven't. In today's episode, we see another filler episode, this time focused around Mallow's Family Restaurant. So if you checked out the episode, make sure you let me know what your thoughts were in the comments down below, especially if you have any different thoughts than I do, and let me know if I missed anything important. The episode starts out with Ash showing up to Mallow's Family Restaurant and just, hi! I don't know, Ash is showing up trying to get some food and we see Mallow's father is carrying a bag of flour and he hurts his back, kind of like I did this past week if we're just going to be perfectly honest, um, hurts his back and he's, oh, I'm hurting, I'm hurting, I can't be hurting, the Alola Bread Festival is coming up soon, I've got to be ready for that and Ash is like, what's the Alola Bread Festival? And at the door we see Mallow's brother Ulu show up. And Mallow's brother's like, yeah, I'm here. I want to participate in the in the festival. He has a lick -a tongue that's along with him. I don't. The last time we saw a lick -a tongue that I can remember was Jesse's lick -a tongue. I'm sure we've seen another at some point, but lick -a tongue is definitely one of these like utility Pokemon. You'll see exactly what I mean as we go through this review. Um, but lick -a tongue's not really a battler, so we haven't seen too much lick -a tongue. So that was pretty cool. We saw we saw a Pokemon that we haven't seen. Right then, right there, that's when the intro runs. This, today's episode is called Tado, not Tada, but Tado, Burn with Passion, Mallow's Family. As the full episode starts off, Ulu is explaining the festival and he's getting very excited. The winner of the festival gets a cruise around Alola. So he seems to have questionable motives for wanting to win this. Uh, but Mallow comes out and provides lunch for everyone and Ash is like, man, this looks great, it tastes great, the Pokemon love it, etc, etc. And Ash is like, uh, talking to Ulu, says, what kind? What are you going to make? What, what kind of bread are you going to make for the festival? And Ulu goes, I haven't decided just yet. So he's completely undecided. Like I said, he seems to have questionable motives. Um, at the time, it seemed like maybe he wasn't a cook after all, and he's just relying on Mallow's help. You know, they talk about how they they had evolved themselves. You know, when Ulu sees Steeny, he's like, "Oh, Bounce you evolved!" And Mallow's like, "Well, I evolved too." Uh, and so this whole episode was about showing him how Mallow's character has evolved since the last time she saw her brother. It seems like maybe Ulu missed out on some of that growth. Noah, the girl that we know with the Alolan Raichu, we've seen her interact with Ash before, but she shows up and Ulu seems to be in love with this girl. And when I say seems to be, I mean he definitely is. Um, he runs up and, you know, he's on his knees. He's saying, hey, if I win the contest, will you buy my bread every day? And I'm like, you could have phrased that differently depending on what you were trying to get because she's like, yeah, sure. Yeah, sure. Why not? But Ulu and Noah seem to have known each other beforehand. This is why when, when she showed up, he just kind of jumped in. Team Rocket sees the advertisement for the festival and they obviously want to go on this cruise. So they're like, yeah, we're going to compete in it. The next day at school, Ulu meets all of the kids. Most of them, aside from Lily and, well, previously Ash, knew him. So they're, you know, they're reuniting with each other. But they ask him, hey, what kind of bread are you going to make for this festival? And he's like, hey, let me show you my work. 
So they go in to sample his stuff, and as they all take a bite of this pastry, it looks like a Danish, um, they have mixed reactions. Half of them are like, oh, this is delicious. The other half of them is like, man, this is extremely sour. So they ask Ulu what this is, and Ulu explains that it's made of berries called ubu berries. Ulu, ubu, ulu, ubu, ubu, ulu. So this berry is a berry that Pokemon like, but apparently people can eat it as well. And the way it turns out is it's either sweet or sour. You can't tell until you eat it. So they're all like, well, how are you gonna do that? Like, what happens if you accidentally serve the sour one? You're not gonna win this festival. And he's like, well, hey, that's where my Lickitung comes in. And Lickitung goes through and sorts it out because Lickitung has a keen sense of taste. Sure, seems legit to me. Um, so Lickitung has a keen sense of taste and sorts it all out. And Kiawe was the one that wound up having the sour stuff from before. And Ulu tosses him a, a, a berry after Lickitung had sorted it out and said, hey, this is a sweet one. Turns out, it's exactly right. So Lickitung does have the ability to separate them all out. Mallow, Mallow's dad comes in the room and they ask if he's feeling better. Yes, he's feeling better. And he looks over at the table and he sees all of these berries sitting there. And he's like, hey, what are these all for? And Mallow explains, well, those are the sour ones. So Ulu won't be using those in his... Uh, in his uh, in his bread that he's making and dad's like I think they could have a use it seems like they're gonna go to waste and you see Mallow reflecting on it for a second and it moves on so at the festival there are tons of Pokemon helping all kinds of different people with their baking we see Team Rocket is pretty successful they're selling honey bagels that are shaped like donuts and they have a you know they're selling out they're selling all kinds of stuff and as the group of kids walks past Mallow's shop they're like where's the bread nothing was set up at first and Mallow walks by looking upset and she says at this rate we might not be able to make any bread at all and that was the commercial after the commercial we see Ulu is sitting by himself and he looks very sad we see a flashback to earlier in the morning where during their preparation, Noah had came up and encouraged Ulu saying, yeah, I'm so excited to buy your bread. Again, you could have phrased that a little better, Ulu, but I'm excited to buy your bread every day if you win this contest. And Ulu is so excited, he trips over himself and knocks over the cart of berries that he's gonna be using and they all fly into a very conveniently placed Snorlax mouth and he eats them all. You know, the Sun and Moon anime always has in every episode something that is completely out of the blue. In the last episode, this Surskit evolved into a Masquerade. Why did the Surskit just randomly evolve? Who is this Surskit that you're just evolving? I don't know. Anyway, the Snorlax ate all of the berries. And well, Ash is like, can't you just use like a different berry? And they're like, well, all we have left is the sour berries. And that's when Mallow has her flashback to what her dad said the day before and that they could have some use. Mallow's like, hey, we can make a jam using the sour berries to go on top of the bread that we make. And as, as is, uh, this is happening more and more, but the theme song plays and the whole group goes through and starts helping make the, uh, make the bread. They go back and they get the, the berries and they're helping Ulu make the bread and Mallow's making the jam. And Mallow's like, hmm, after tasting it, she's like, hmm, this is missing something. And of course, Steenie's there. So Steenie's like, bam, I got you with this sweet scent. Hits up the sweet scent, the sweet scent swirls in. Bang, it's perfect. As they set it out, because of the sweet scent, it makes a great, a great smell to the entire festival. And the huge group comes up um, to, eat, to take the bread, to eat the bread. They're all very excited. It flashes over to Team Rocket's group, and the booth is completely empty now. And Meowth is like, since the place with this bread and jam opened up, we're not selling anything. And Jessie goes mad. I mean, she's got fangs. She's got like a snake tongue, all this stuff. And she starts piling all of the berries that they have, every berry that they have into a pot. And she's, she's packing it all down. And all of a sudden it explodes. And 
the, 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 the team, right, they're all sitting there and they're like, man, I knew this wasn't gonna work. So it flashes back to the group and the bread had sold out very quickly and the, the whole gang is like, man, we didn't even get to taste it. We just had to make it. I was really hoping we could taste it. And Mel is like, hey, 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 don't worry, I got you. And they have their own, their own um, that they try. The Pokemon get to eat it. They all really like it. And Noah comes up and uh, asks Ulu, hey, are, are you gonna win? I'm, I'm so excited to be able to buy your bread at the cafe every day. And that's where Ulu goes. Wait, 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 wait. What do you, what do you, what do you, what do you mean buy it at the cafe? I thought, I thought, I, 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 I thought we were gonna like get married. Um, and that's when the wedding march, the same wedding march from the last episode, plays, and Noah's fiance comes up, shattering Ulu's heart, literally shattering him. He was, he was literally laying in pieces. But Steenie comes up after they have walked away and Ulu stand there sad and Steenie comes up and I I don't know what was being said, but Steenie came up to comfort Ulu from what it seems. As they go to the festival award ceremony, they announce that the winner is Mallow's family, of course. Everybody saw that coming. But Mallow goes up to accept the award and she's like, Where's where's my brother? You can't find him anywhere in the audience, and Steenie brings up a note. Mallow opens it up and the note is from Ulu and he's like, hey, you've evolved so much. I don't think that I have. I'm going to be going on another adventure. And it flashes over to where he's on the boat. He's sailing off to somewhere and talking about how he's got to evolve and he's got to do better. And then a beautiful woman walks past him and you see his heart eyes and he trips over her as he runs away. And that was the end of this episode. So it was a fun filler episode, I suppose. I like Mallow. I did not like, I did not care for Ulu. But hey, they needed a filler. I meant to mention this at the beginning of the episode, but I don't think our, uh, I don't think the next few episodes are gonna be filler. I think we're starting to get into some pretty juicy, fun-filled episodes. And to break the fourth wall a little bit, I'll be recording those right away. Those episodes should be coming out this week, assuming nothing goes horribly wrong. I talked about this in the update video. I'm trying to turn up the knob just a little bit. I want to do a little bit more, and that's going to include four anime. Well, actually, it'll be five anime reviews by the end of the week. If you're checking all of them out, thank you so much. Again, if you watched this episode, let me know your thoughts in the comments down below, and we will see you tomorrow for another Sun and Moon anime review. Until then, spread some positivity, be the light, and have a blessed day.